started this deal all wrong by calling me a cheater on the coin flip, I'd never cheat. Heads up, and that's exactly what we did. I let the button go, and guess what? In the adrenaline-fueled street racing world, one show revs up fans' engines like no other, Street Outlaws. It's more than just a TV show. It's a front row seat to the heart-pounding action of the underground racing circuit. From gearheads to thrill seekers, Street Outlaws brings together car lovers from all walks of life, offering a glimpse into the pulse-pounding world of street racing. It's a world where every turn could mean victory or defeat, where drivers push their machines to the limit in pursuit of big money prizes and the ultimate street cred. One of the show's most prominent stars is Jeff Lutz. On Street Outlaws, Lutz has cemented his status as a legendary racer and beloved competitor. Known for his skill behind the wheel and his unwavering determination, Lutz has captured the hearts of fans across the globe, but his talents don't end on the track. Lutz is also the proud owner of his own car company. Yet, as with any high-speed sport, street racing comes with its fair share of risk. Fans were understandably concerned when news broke via social media about something that had happened to Jeff. So, is Jeff doing okay? Where is he now? Join us as we unravel the mystery behind what really happened to Jeff Lutz from Street Outlaws. After a lot of thought with my family, you know, it just feels right to put this thing on the street. This is where I belong. It's going to take a whole lot more to knock me out of this game. Hailing from a small town outside of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Lutz's journey into the world of street racing wasn't the typical tale of starting young and never looking back. No, Lutz took a different path, diving headfirst into the world of racing a little later in life. It all began with a gift from his father, a 1974 hatchback Nova, when Lutz was just 14 years old. But here's the kicker, he never got the chance to drive it. Yet, despite this setback, the seed had been planted, and Lutz's love affair with cars and racing was born. Moving out at a young age, he wasted no time building a life of his own. At 18 years old, Jeff and his wife took the leap and bought their first house, laying the foundation for a future filled with love, family, and of course, cars. But life had other plans in store for Jeff. Becoming a parent at a young age presented challenges, but it also opened doors to a world of possibilities. Thanks to his early start in fatherhood, Jeff lived the dream he'd always imagined, working on cars with his son by his side, passing down a passion deeper than just horsepower and speed. For Jeff Lutz, it all started with the love for drag racing, fueled by hours spent glued to the TV screen. When Jeff's oldest brother Rick returned from the Marines and proposed a trip to check out a car, Jeff jumped at the chance. And what a car it was! A 70.5 split bumper Camaro with a 404 speed engine that screamed pure power. With adrenaline coursing through his veins, Jeff took the wheel and never looked back, igniting a spark that would fuel his racing career for years to come. But Jeff's journey wasn't without skepticism. Jeff forged ahead despite his father's warnings that he'd never make a dime working with cars, proving that passion and determination can defy even the most stubborn of odds. And in a heartwarming twist of fate, Jeff's father became his biggest fan before passing in 2015, witnessing his son's rise to racing greatness. In 1988, Jeff took the plunge and bought himself an IROC Z, a sleek machine his wife initially used as her daily driver. However, Jeff's restless spirit and passion for all things automotive soon took hold, and before long, the IROC Z became his canvas for experimentation and innovation. Driven by a desire to push the limits, Jeff delved deeper into the world of cars, eager to transform his ride into something truly extraordinary. With the help of Old Man Miller, Jeff's vision began to take shape, fueling his ambition to work with cars on a whole new level. He began to amass the tools and equipment needed to turn his passion into a full-fledged career. But Jeff's journey wasn't without its twists and turns. From bricklayer and chassis welder, he made a leap of faith that would change his life forever. When the housing market crashed, Jeff hung up his mason tools and dove headfirst into the garage, never looking back. And as luck would have it, his gamble paid off in spades. Life has been one wild ride for Jeff, a dream come true as he tore up the tracks of no-prep kings and street outlaws. But how did he find himself in the fast lane of street racing's elite? It all started with a simple phone call that changed everything. From that moment on, Jeff dove headfirst into the world of street outlaws, rubbing shoulders with the best of the best and leaving his mark on the asphalt. But he's the first to admit that he's still learning the ropes, 
leaning on legends like Ryan Martin, Chief, and Sean Ellington to guide him through the twists and turns of street racing. And while the street may be where the adrenaline flows fastest, Jeff's heart still belongs to the strip. Something about the controlled chaos of the drag strip keeps him coming back for more, especially when it comes to his favorite, no prep racing. But if you think Drag Week is for the faint of heart, think again. It's a grueling, unforgiving test of man and machine, pushing both to their breaking point. Yet, despite the challenges, Jeff refuses to back down, setting world records and leaving his competitors in the dust. Despite entering the scene relatively late in the game, Jeff Lutz wasted no time making his mark on the street racing world. Season 9 saw his debut, and from that moment on, he became a staple of the racing crew, earning his spot as a firm fixture on No Prep Kings. Initially tearing through the streets in his formidable promon, dubbed Mad Max, Lutz quickly established himself as a force to be reckoned with. Recently, fans were rocked by news of Jeff's car getting involved in an accident during the filming of the upcoming season of Street Outlaws. Reports from Hot Rod revealed the harrowing details. Lutz's car was left completely totaled. What happened to Lutz? Well, he got lucky and made it out alive. News of his recovery soon broke out on social media, and fans rushed to wish him well, and he made quite a recovery. But when Big Chief threw down the gauntlet and banned all pro mods from racing, Lutz faced a dilemma, and he knew it was time to move on. Undeterred, Lutz set to work on his 57 Chevy. He transformed his classic ride into a lean, mean racing machine, ready to take on any challenger that dared to cross his path. Lutz's journey with the Pontiac GXP and GTO platform traces back to the late 2000s, when he first laid eyes on Spiro Papa's iconic ride. Inspired by its performance and potential, Lutz set his sights on owning a similar machine. However, time was of the essence, and he knew he needed to act fast. Lutz smiled down on Lutz when he stumbled upon a pre-built GTO in Northern California, a car already well on its way to race car status. There was just one hiccup. He didn't have enough cash to seal the deal. But where there's a will, there's a way. And with the help of Rick Ball from RC Components, Lutz secured his dream machine. The duel turned a simple purchase into an unforgettable adventure. Initially, Lutz planned to race to GTO in No Prep Kings while still showcasing his beloved 57 for fans. But fate had other plans. A wreck for the 57 just days before scheduled filming in Chicago forced a change of course. With quick thinking, Lutz and his team decided to put the GTO into action for the 2020 season, and action it saw indeed. From testing to tearing up the track in Chicago, the GTO proved its worth, leaving competitors in the dust and securing Lutz's redemption. Season after season, the car has emerged as a true contender in No Prep Kings, with Lutz proudly proclaiming it the baddest turbo car in the series' history. As the No Prep Kings series falls silent, Lutz and his son, Jeffrey, find themselves with a rare gift, two full months of unbridled time. And what better way to make use of this precious commodity than by reviving the legendary Mad Max for its triumphant return to the asphalt. Under their skilled hands, the Mad Max underwent a transformation, emerging stronger, faster, and more formidable than ever before. Powered by a twin turbocharged 540 cubic inch engine, a Rossler Turbo 400 transmission, and managed by FuelTech, Mad Max is primed and ready to reclaim its rightful place on the track. But for Lutz, the journey doesn't end there. With the future uncertain, he's stacking the deck in his favor with every move. Between the adrenaline-fueled chaos of No Prep Kings filming, he channels his energy into expanding his YouTube channel, building a new shop next to the existing Lutz Race Cars facility, and preparing his son, Jeff Jr., for his own racing endeavors. Whether it's behind the wheel of a small tire Honda or the iconic Mad Max 1969 Chevrolet Camaro, Lutz believes he's poised to conquer whatever challenges lie ahead.